we can analyze the nuclear binding energy to build up a helium atom from its constituent parts. One atomic mass unit, or one AMU, is defined as one twelfth of the mass of a carbon-12 atom, which equates to approximately 1.6606 times 10 to the power of minus 27 kilograms. A lone isolated proton has 1.00728 AMU, and a neutron has 1.00866 AMU. Thus, in theory, if we combine two protons and two neutrons together to make a helium-4 nucleus, we should get 4.03188 AMU. However, the real-world physical measurement of the mass of helium-4 is 4.0015 AMU. It's lighter than expected. What happened? This is called the mass defect. The mass defect here is the missing expected amount of mass, which is 0 0.03038. The reason why the mass is less is that when helium-4 formed, part of its mass was converted into energy according to Einstein's famous E equals mc squared equation. The helium-4 nucleus is actually in a lower energy state than the individual protons and neutrons on their own. So creating a helium-4 nucleus actually releases energy by converting some of its mass into that energy. That energy is what we call nuclear binding energy. We can calculate the nuclear binding energy for the helium-4 atom. This is done by converting the mass defect into its energy equivalent using E equals mc squared. In this case, if you plug in 0.03038 AMU for the mass in the equation and convert the units appropriately, we get the binding energy as E equals 28.34 mega electron volts, which is 7.08 mega electron volts per nucleon. A nucleon is another name for a proton or a neutron. So what does this mean? One way to think about it is that by forming the helium nucleus, each nucleon will contribute 7.08 mega electron volts to the released energy from the nuclear reaction. Alternatively, in the reverse process, it requires 7.08 mega electron volts of energy per nucleon to pull the helium-4 nucleus apart into its individual protons and neutrons. 